Hi, my name is Jonathan Lord, and I'm the Classroom and Events Technology Manager here at Azusa Pacific University. Today, I'm going to go over all of the new HyFlex technology in our classrooms. First, we have our webcam. This is a ceiling-mounted Hudley Go that faces the front of the classroom. Next, you have your speakerphone. Depending on your classroom, you will either have a STEM audio wall unit or a STEM audio table unit. Finally, you'll have a document camera, like this one here. All these devices are connected directly to the classroom computer, so all you have to do is log into your video conferencing software of choice. For this video, I'll be demonstrating using Zoom and Google Meet. For this demonstration, I've created two Google Calendar events, one with Zoom and one using Google Meet. First, we'll hop into Zoom. Once you've joined your Zoom meeting, click on your audio options and be sure to select both your microphone and your speaker as either your STEM wall or your STEM table, depending on which device you have in your room. Once that's set, go to your video options and be sure to check the Hudley Go as your camera. Once you have these audio and video settings confirmed, you can feel free to walk around the front of the room as much as you like. Your students will be able to see and hear you clearly no matter where you go at the front of the room. Finally, to share your document camera, click on the green Share Screen button at the bottom center of Zoom. Go to the Advanced tab and click on Content from Second Camera. And finally, click Share. This should automatically start sharing the feed from the document camera. However, if you do have multiple cameras connected to your computer and you need to switch between them, simply click the Switch Camera button in the top left of the screen. These controls are very similar for Google Meet. I'm going to go ahead and join this Meet that I have prepared on my Google Calendar. And after joining the meeting, I'm going to click the dots in the bottom right corner of the screen, and then go to my settings. Just like Zoom, I want to make sure that my microphone and speakers are both set to either STEM wall or STEM table, depending on which device my room has. And then over in the video section, I want to confirm that my camera is set to Hudley Go. For better video quality, also be sure to set both your send resolution and your receive resolution over to 720p. To share the document camera, Again, click on the three dots in the lower right-hand corner, click on Settings, and then go to the Video tab. Finally, change your camera from Hudley Go to Document Camera, and hit Done to start presenting. Your camera feed will appear mirrored, but please note that it only appears this way on your computer. All other Meet attendees will see the camera normally. This is a function of Google Meet that makes normal webcams appear more natural and unfortunately cannot be undone for document cameras. Finally, let's go over some things you can do to fine-tune the image on your document camera. First, you can use the head to adjust the zoom and positioning of what you're looking at. Second, you can hit the autofocus button to make sure that the image is clearly in focus. Third, you can hit the light bulb button to turn on the camera's internal light especially helpful if you are recording or transmitting in a dark room. And finally, you can click the brightness buttons to either decrease the brightness or increase the brightness of an image. I hope you found this overview of our HyFlex Classroom technology helpful. If you have any other questions, please contact the IMT Support Center by emailing support at apu.edu, visiting us on the web at support.apu.edu, or giving us a call at 626-815-5050.